April. This video is for your sun sign. And while you can use it for any part of your chart, this video right here is going to tell you why it is for your sun sign and then how you should also be using, you know, your rising sign, your moon sign to navigate different things like the love video right here that's going to be coming out pretty soon as well as the career video over here that you can be looking forward to. And so if you want to catch those, make sure that you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell and let's get started. This month we're going to look at the general theme, the beginning, middle, and end of the month, what's going to be going super well for you this month, what's your biggest challenge going to be, what you should be avoiding this month, and then the best way to use this month to your advantage as well as finding out what your crystal of the month is. The decks that I'm using today are the Cosmic Tribe Tarot and the Fuck It deck. If you want information on those, I do have affiliate links in the bottom because a bitch has to get paid. Okay, here we go. Virgo. The general theme for your month is you're just not going to be like feeling much. And you know what? Honestly, sometimes feeling nothing is a little bit scarier or more uncomfortable than feeling depression, for example, because then at least you know you feel. Feeling numb is kind of sometimes scarier. But, you know, for those of you who don't view it that way, good, easy, right? Nothing extreme. Uh, but that's kind of the general overarching theme for your month. Now, what does the beginning of the month look like for you? Not a lot of communication, not a lot of um, talking to people. And then in the middle of the month, not a lot of choices here. Not a lot of um, maybe getting down and dirty. I guess your love reading will tell you more about that. But then the end of the month, um, things are changing quickly, like boom, overnight, and in a good way. This is the card that kind of indicates overnight successes and things like that, where all of a sudden this meme you made went viral, you know? So what's going to be going super, super well for you this month? Um, that you're not so focused on material things. And that might be going well for you this month because of coronavirus, right? Um, maybe it's less scary for you. Maybe you're more financially prepared. I guess the career and money reading might tell you a little bit more about that, but that's what's going well for you this month. And then also the fact that we're not in communication so much with other people, because if we are avoiding that, then we are not having miscommunications and, and whatever. So what is the biggest challenge for you going to be? It's going to be able, the biggest challenge is going to be for you to be able to see things from other points of view and different perspectives. The thing is, is that there's a way that you're used to doing things. There's a way that you're used to viewing things and it's not always the best mindset or lens in which to filter, you know, what we're experiencing and seeing in the world. And so changing that is going to be challenging, but it's totally worth it. What is it that you need to be avoiding this month? I don't like this reading so far. It's like boring as fuck. So here's the deal. I was doing your reading and I was like, this is the most boring fucking reading of my life. And so I want to know what do you need to do to not be bored? And they're saying, keep on doing what you're doing because it's not boring for you. <laughs> I'm just disappointed that it's not super sensational this um, this April from where I stand because I'm not living it because I'm not a Virgo sun sign. Okay, so back to the reading then, I guess. All right, so what was it that we needed to avoid with our fuck it deck? Um, a new opportunity is coming, but you need to avoid it. Why is that? Well, what they say is things are going to change for you overnight and then it's less appealing, you know, then you don't need it anymore. So where is that coming? And they're saying we can't tell you yet, but it's a secret and it's really exciting. But if you knew, you'd fuck it up. So um, not that you can't, not that you're going to fuck up the new opportunity that is coming, right? But it's like there's two opportunities coming simultaneously and one of them just happens to you and it changes your life overnight. And then that's pretty cool and amazing and wonderful. So anyway, that's the point. And that's why it seemed boring up until now. But that's actually not the case. Your month won't be boring. I'm sorry, I judged. So um, how can you best use this month's energies to your advantage? And they're saying you get to create whatever you want. 
this is a month where, you know, by balancing out the masculine and the feminine, the dark and the light, um, and, you know, using your passion here, this is your cauldron. Like, you get to create whatever it is that you want in this world by blending all of the energies that exist, you know, using all of your chakras, illuminating them all at once. So this would be a really good month to make sure that all your shit's aligned, to make sure that... Um, you're fully glowy, get that meditation time in and stuff like that, especially if you're at home, working from home, um, because you're quarantined or something like that. So they're saying like, things are gonna come easy for you, okay? It's not gonna be that hard work. It's like, boom, overnight, things change in a really positive direction, but we can't give you the clues as to what yet, so you don't sabotage it. But right before that, a new opportunity might come for you and it might not be worth taking, um, and so you want to keep that in mind as the month progresses. So is there any other way that you can use this month to your advantage? And they're saying, yes, this is a time to take all of the bullshit from the past, all of these like emotions that you've had that were all over the place, learn your lessons, get in the boat and move to smoother sailings, like calmer water. This is the best investment that you can make in yourself. Um, this month because it, this is what is going to create that overnight success this overnight joy and happiness and blessings coming into your life So your crystal of the month is Rose quartz and most of you know that rose quartz is associated with love Including self-love but romantic love as well if you want to learn more about it. You can check out this uh, Blog post I have right here. There's a link in the description box below and I love you so much. I'll see you next month